Hi, my name is Sherbel and I am going to walk you through a series of videos on how to use the business rules module for Drupal 8. Before I start, this video will be about how to install the module, its dependencies and a quick overview about it. So if you are already familiar of this module, you may skip to the next video. First of all, you may find the module under drupal.org slash project slash business underscore rules and it's only available for Drupal 8. If you are already familiar with the rules module, the business rules module is quite similar and has almost same functionality. A list of the main feature of the module are cited here on the page by the module maintainer itself, himself. You may find all the features available here. In order to install the module, you will have to install its dependency which is debug module, which you will find it under the link here. Just visit this link and download a copy of the latest version available. So after clicking on this link here, you will be taken to this page, debug for Drupal. I will advise you as well to install the token module, which will make the business rule module more powerful than it is. Here is a page of the token module and you, can, you may grab a copy here. It is worth also to point that this module can show you a visual graph on how your rules will work. You will learn more about the flowchart functionality of this module later. But for now, just grab a copy of the MX graph which you can find it here under the external library section go to the link of the github and grab a copy of the mx graph version and then place it under the libraries folder in your root website and rename it to business underscore rules underscore gs before i will proceed to my website i highly advise you to take a look on the documentation of this module by following this link here Now go ahead and grab a copy of this module latest release as well as a copy of both the debug and the token module and install them on your Drupal 8 website, same ways as installing any other module in Drupal. Here is my uh, website and I have already set up this module on my website. After enabling the module, you will find it its configuration page under configuration, workflow, business rules. On this page here, all setup of your rules will take place. The business rules module takes another approach in creating rules other than the one known in rules modules. Here you will have to create actions, conditions and variables separately and after that you can group them inside one or more rules. So basically, here is the page of actions where all actions available for this website will be displayed. I just created some dummy actions for you to see them listed here in this page. Also by going to the add action button, you can add more actions to your uh, website. For example, you may add action set with value. You can action, you can add action schedule a task page redirect, send email, and so on. Same for the conditions page. Here is where all available conditions for this website will be displayed. Also, I have created one dummy condition for you to see it here. And by going to the add condition, you can add more condition on your website, such, such, such as Data comparison, logical and logical or, logged user has role, user variable has role, and so on. Also here, there is a variable page where all variable will be listed. But it's worth to mention here that these two available variables, this come 
with the module by default so I did not create it, create them you will have them on your module uh, on your website they are provided by default by the business rules the module and also you may create more uh, variables by going to the add variable button and choose the type of variable you would like to add empty entity variable current URL user variable custom value note that there is no limitation on the number of actions conditions and variables you may create for your project it will be important to mention that the schedule tab here will not be available for you if you are using version alpha 22 and below because schedule is a new feature the maintainer added lately to the alpha 23 release and will allow you to schedule an action to be triggered at a specific time in the future so basically what this new feature can uh, can do actually if you let's let's take the example you would like to send uh, one email uh, to, to the user who just registered on your website so uh, but you like to send this email after one hour from the registration time after creating the the action sending the email and putting put put this action under the event a user has logged in you will have to create one schedule put the time of sending this email here and triggered by and here name the action uh, which is on our in our uh, example send email so this will be all for this video see you in the next one and have a good day bye bye